there. Congratulations. Next one. Guys, this is a big improvement. Oh, end games. End games are probably your worst enemies. Dylan, no, I, I actually, I think I have played something like this the other block to move. Okay. I want to ask you a couple of basic yeah. things about the end games. So give me a possibilities. I'm talking about the uh, uh, possible moves for black. So what do you suggest here for black? Let's go. Uh, I suggest uh, I suggest moving um, the G like the pawn to G G three. Mm -hmm. And that's... why would you... <laughs> and why would you push your pawn to G three? Uh... Well, okay, that because, Dylan, because, Dylan, because Dylan. Sorry, he's gonna then he's gonna capture it, so that's not a good one. Dylan, Dylan, let me just tell you one thing. How do I actually work with my students? Whenever I ask a question, I'm expecting of my student not just to give me an answer, but to explain me why does he want to do something. How do you understand this end game? Do you understand what is his idea? Do you know anything about the end games? Do you know anything about chess? Do you know how the pieces work? Do you know what's the point and the goal of this game? So if you want to push your pawn and promote into the queen, yeah, I'm can, you promote. Do that? can you do that if you simply push your pawn to g3? No, because then he's just going to take it. So what the hell are you doing? I'm explaining my bad so chess move. I'm explaining the details I, of my bad chess I asked you what would be your move, and you said, my I want to play G3. I'm going to move the, uh, I'm going to move the king uh, to H3. But I don't give a shit. You actually need to explain me why do you want to move the king to H3. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> just give me a moment. <laughs> Congratulations, because you're the first one. And now he's asking you, what would you... No, no, no. Because if you do that check, he's going to cover his queen uh, by c8 pawn. Actually, he's going to play c8. Nice. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 